Hi, it's Rick from Dreamside Out again. Well, I just want to show you a few things that I did, a few changes I made in the van, and then I wanted to uh, kind of give a little shout out to somebody for something. So if you if you watch the whole video at the end, I have a little shout out to someone. So um, hope you enjoy. To, what I'm what I'm going to do uh, is to show you a few th changes I've made in the van just recently, and uh, talk about a few changes I'm going to make in the van coming up here very shortly. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm just uh, you know this is uh, me in my nightly evening routine. I mean I'm parked in uh, a really cool place that I park a lot in the evenings. You know I usually park here till the sun goes down and uh, work on my artwork and maybe I'll show you what I'm working on too you know everybody's been asking about my artwork well, I don't know if you remember correctly or not but uh, I used to have a TV screen mounted right here um, that was a TV that I bought because it had a DVD player in it and I wanted to be able to you know, I had it on an arm, and I could swing it out like this, and I put a DVD in it, and then I could pop back on my, you know, kind of lay on my bed and kind of watch the, the video. That was kind of nice, but it was a little awkward. You know, it it required some some setup, you know, to get ready to watch a DVD. And also, the thing that really disappointed me about it was after a couple of months, the DVD player stopped working. I mean, this was a brand new system that I bought off of Amazon. And the DVD player just puked on me, and <laughs> then, but and that's the only reason I had it. I don't watch t regular TV. I I actually still rent DVDs uh, because I uh, like to uh, um, give my business to a to a small company in uh, down in Seattle that uh, still rents DVDs, and I've I've rented from them for years, and it, it works great when you're in a van if you can just watch DVDs. So instead of watching that big screen, I went out and bought one of these. <laughs> this is just a little DVD player. You know, you've seen these things. They I can't open it up with one hand right now, but it, you know, it, it opens up. Here it is. It opens up. Put your DVD in there. I set it on my lap at night, and it charges up. And it just fits right in here, and that's all. That's all I need. It's it's part of that, you know. Requiring less as opposed to acquiring more. Well, there you, there you go. I just reduced a large screen down to that size, and I'm just fine with it. I, I sit there and watch a, a DVD, uh, you know, some rerun of a, an old TV program like X Files or something like that. I'm kind of working my way through the X Files right now. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so that's that's one change I made. Uh, what I'm what I'm doing too is uh, I, I reworked this so that uh, there I am in there in the mirror. You see, I can stand right here and do my grooming. You know, I've got all my stuff I need. I can stand up and do it, and it's a much better use of this space. I think I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this mirror or get a slightly wider one. I might uh, go out and get a, a mirror that's wider, but I tilted it like this so I, so that it uh, gives me a full view. If, I, if it was flat against the wall, my head would be cut off and I'd have to stoop down to look in it, but this is just right. This is the time of the day I usually plug things into my uh, inverter. I'll turn on my inverter here. I'm getting maximum charge for from the sun for a few more hours, and uh, so I can keep my things on the inverter and they'll be charging like my laptop for instance and um, my cell phone and any, anything that needs charging that's what I do at this time of the night because I'm you know I'm off work now sometimes I do that during the day too I'll go out to the car out to the van from from the place I work and I'll turn on my inverter and I'll plug things in and let them just charge up from the Sun so that's how I've been using the solar panels and stuff 
And then, um, you know, I'll, I'll use a, a component like a, a coffee grinder or something like that in the mornings sometimes because there's plenty of uh, juice left in the batteries to do some things like that. I, I've never run the batteries down below uh, 50% in this, in this van so far and I've been able to function just fine with what I have. And I, I want to also show you that, that uh, I forgot to mention that I, I wired in some lights here. Uh, these I needed some 12 volt lights uh, because they they pull less energy from the battery uh, when they're wired directly into the the 12 volt batteries. Uh, and I can I can actually have the inverter off. You know, at a certain time of the night, I'll turn the I'll turn the inverter off to save energy, and I'll just run directly off the batteries with my lights because that's all I, I also have these other lights you know and I really need to flood it with light in here for some reason I have these uh, but those run on 110 volts so I have to run those on, on the inverter and they're supposed to be uh, low amp light bulbs but I know that they suck more power than these LED lights and these things throw some serious light out these are made for the in, inside of uh, for boats and sailboats and things like that, they're marine grade equipment. I had to kind of fabricate some little brackets here. I had to run the wire through the through there and make a little saw kerf in there, and it it's fed down. You see it coming out here, and then it goes over here, and it goes up there, goes along and into my my um, distribution panel, which is inside that box. Okay, I'm gonna set up my drawing table here. If you remember. From a previous video I have these pegs they go in the holes here and uh, I'm gonna set that up so that I can draw because I'm gonna do some drawing tonight I've been working on some stuff because I'm gonna be in a little art show in November and I want to have have some stuff ready for that okay so I set up my drawing table and I've got a few sketches on the table these are uh, some very lightly done sketches they're they're very preliminary i haven't gone into them in great deal detail yet but i don't even know if they're going to show up on this gopro camera but um it the subject matter uh comes from a uh, a book that i illustrated for david george gordon uh called the uh sasquatch seekers field manual it was published by mountaineers books and uh, yeah, Sasquatch, that's right, you heard it right. And so <laughs> the subject matter of these illustrations are gonna be Sasquatches. And uh, the, this, these are not illustrations from the book. These are pictures that I'm going to make prints off of when I develop these drawings further. And I'm going to a, a big uh, Sasquatch uh, event here in Washington where there will be lots of Sasquatch enthusiasts and I will be selling some prints to them. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I've been hesitating to get into that subject because I don't want to make my channel about Sasquatches. That's just something I happen to be involved in because I'm an artist and I illustrated a book about it, okay? Um, but I am a Pacific Northwest guy. I've been out in the woods and I've seen a lot of stuff, all right? So I'll just leave it at that. So I'm gonna set up my drawing stuff and sit here for several hours and work on these pictures until the sun goes down. And then I'll make another video segment for this particular video when I get to that point. Getting close to sunset. Still people milling around, but this is where I hang out until the sun goes down usually. And I've been, uh, Thinking in this little Sasquatch guy here, he's climbing up the cliff. Um, you know. And uh, I don't know if this drawing is going to come off that well. It's starting to pull together a little bit, but we'll see. Sometimes I have to do a drawing about four or five times before I get it. But I'm kind of going into this one with the ink right away because I want to see how uh, I want to kind of get my <clears throat> get back into my inking technique it's kind of like warming up for exercises or something when you do this you know if you haven't uh, 
inked something for a while, you kind of got to burn through some paper before you get in your stride. Um, at least that's what the way it is for me. Uh, so uh, these are going to be black and white prints, so I want to have a, a lot of good black line and contrast and so forth. So I spent the evening here inking this one in. Uh, it's, it's coming along. I mean, it's uh, it's it's a little sparse. With, I need <clears throat> need some more solid areas of dark, but it's good for an evening's work actually. So the sun's down. I'm sitting in the van. Back door's still open. See out there. It's still a little bit of the haze of the sun. I think there's one person out there sitting on a bench. This is what happens when you sit in a van with the lights on, uh, the bugs come in. And yes, I know I need a bug screen, but you know they like to gather around the light. Uh, these big old winged bugs, winged ant looking creatures, I don't know what the heck they are. But uh, so here's a, my little spot here from a distance. Um, I always push my limit here sometimes. I know there's a security guard that comes around here and checks. He's never said anything to me, but he just kind of makes his presence known. <laughs> so I'm not really supposed to be in here uh, after dark. I'm not going to, I never spend the night here. I just usually stay till the sun goes down and it's one of my hangouts. Um, but so I'm going to pack up now and drive to my spot where I sleep for the night. <clears throat> Well, that's pretty much how I spend my evening. I'll go park in a peaceful place, read, work on my art, do something quiet like that until the sun goes down. And um, then I'll move on to the place where I'm going to sleep for the night. And that's where I'm at right now. I've parked here. I'm getting ready for bed here. Uh, I've got a work day tomorrow. <clears throat> Um, I want to close this video, though, by giving a shout-out to a guy who made a very interesting post on uh, in the Van Dwellers uh, page on Facebook. Now, I'm not one of these people that really gets into posting all kinds of fancy sayings on Facebook and telling people to pass it on if you agree with this and blah, blah, blah. You know that routine they do. But now and then, you see a post... <laughs> where somebody just says something, and this is an honest from his own heart, you know, a guy that said something that, that really was uplifting and really articulated the way I feel about this lifestyle. And he put it into words in a very short sense. So I want to, re I want to read that to you right now. This is from Brandon Blake. And he, I asked him if I could use his name on YouTube. He gave me permission. Brandon said this. Sometimes when I get in my truck and get on my bed, I bury my head in my pillow. And I laugh hysterically that I have a roof over my head and I don't pay rent. Then I get up and calm myself down. I don't know when I read that, that just, it's exactly the way I feel sometimes. I mean, look at me. I'm here. I, I'm not paying a dime. I had waterfront property tonight doing my artwork in my van. So, you know, I'm just going to do what Brandon does. I'm, in fact, I think if, if you're living in a van, I, this is my, my, uh, my pass it on thing like they do on Facebook and all that. If you live in a van... Why don't you do what Brandon does and, and let's pass the, make this a little routine. Uh, so here's to you, Brandon. <laughs>